Hi, my name is Michaela Kale, and I am with my mom. Would you like to introduce yourself? I am Latasha Carroll, Michaela Carroll's mother. And today I am going to be doing the oral history project for sophomore English. And now we will get started with the questions. So far I have six, so let's start with the first one. So, how is your life different than what you imagined as a kid? Ooh. Uh, it was totally different as a kid. It wasn't a lot of this that's going on now. When you say this, what do you mean? Like shooting and fighting. Well, it was a lot of fighting back then, but it was one on one fights. It wasn't like, oh, I'm not going to be fist fighting. I'm going to just stab this person or shoot this person. It wasn't none of that. We was able to go outside and play, you know, till the street lights come on and stuff like that. Go on the front porch, get chased by the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, I mean, this generation is crazy. I think they possess. Oh, my God. Okay, question number two. Your whole life... Who has been the kindest to you? In other words, who has been the person that's always been there on your side or by your side? My grandfather, my aunt auntie, my grandma Bobby, and my cousin Elois. Okay. May my day rest in peace. <laughs> Except for my granddad. <laughs> okay, question number three. Which time in your life was better, when you were a child or an adult? Adult. Why? Because I stayed getting in trouble. Because <laughs> of school. Not because of fighting. I never, never got into a fight when I was a kid. I just kept getting in trouble because of school, working my grades. So, like, yeah, I like now as an adult. <laughs> I'm in my own place. I can do what I want. <laughs> okay. Now, question number four. What person in your life that is not a family member have you known for the longest? My best friend. 20, 22 years since freshman year of high school, 96. And what high school did you attend? Crane High School. Okay. Question number five. Did you ever imagine that you would have such an amazing child like me? Yeah, yes, I did. It w it was hard, not gonna lie. It was hard being a mom, but I am very blessed that my child came out the way she did. Very intelligent, you know. We all have our ups and downs, but yes, very amazing, very talented. You're gonna make me cry right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm good. Okay, question number six. If there is one thing that you would change about life, what would it be? Hmm. My childhood life. Can I ask why? Hmm. I wouldn't be getting in trouble as much. I'd be doing what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> is that all? That's it. Okay, now I'm just going to add on this question. Ba what is like how we have a pandemic now was there one like this back then or is this like the first one since you've been born since i've been born and been alive and still alive never had this happen never never that i know of and what do you think about this pandemic about corona this virus going around or even about the shot that's happening excuse my french this shit is crazy <laughs> it's contagious it needs to go away but yes we gotta do what we gotta do to stay healthy stay alive and of course i took my vaccine both of my vaccines so i had no choice i work in the healthcare field okay and as we are at the end of this conversation or interview, 
what is there anything else that you would like to add get your vaccines done please that's all love you kid i love you too okay and that is the end of my oral history project thank you and have a nice day